So let's talk about playing guitar. Now this is just between you, me, and the lamppost because I want as little competition as possible. Now first off, I, I think it's important to know what your motivation is for playing guitar. Um, my own personal motivation um, was to try to sound like I know what I'm doing. Now this is different than if you want to be a good time Saturday night bar band or a studio musician or uh, sitting around the campfire and having fun. If you want to sound like you know what you're doing, unfortunately, I think you kind of have to know what you're doing. And I think the most important thing in sounding like you know what you're doing is to figure out a way of practicing that's fun. Because if you don't, you won't do it very much. Now, I think the way of figuring out how to do what you want is to find out the kind of music that you want to play, find the best person who does it, and try to figure out what those techniques entail. Now, I've found that playing along with things is my way of doing it. And if you find a lick that's hard to figure out, the way I do it is to start with the first note, figure out what the first note is, then figure out what the last note of the lick is, and then slowly build towards the middle. So, so the middle will seem a little bit jumbled as you go along trying to do it every day, and eventually those all get filled in. And before you, well, I don't know if it's before you know it, and hopefully, eventually, you'll get it right. Now, I'm a bit unusual. I found out in the fifth grade that I have perfect pitch, uh, which is a funny story that I'll probably tell you about later. And I don't read music. Again, I'm a little bit unusual. Um, in high school, I was pulled out of history class and sent to the special reading teacher. She put me through a series of tests over a week. And she told me that I have dysgraphia, which is, she described it as a, an aversion to writing. In the ensuing years, I sort of figured out what I think happened in my brain. My personality is such that I don't like the idea of symbols or at least some inner part in my back of my brain doesn't like the idea of symbols. That they're a lie. That the, some flag waving is not the country that it claims to be. Because to look at it, it's just a little piece of cloth and it's not the country. In the same manner, uh, these letters are not the words that, that I'm looking at. And even worse is if they try to tell me that, you know, that some try to tell me that some note is the same as this black dot on the paper. Now, I'm not buying it. Or at least <laughs> some part of my brain isn't buying it. And it just rejects it. And I don't like the idea. So, so I have to rely on perfect pitch to, to figure these things out. Now, this helps me figure things out, but it's not the answer to all the questions. You've still got to get your fingers moving and working. Another thing I'm going to want to talk about is making your own picks, the plectrum. I've been making my own picks since about a year after I started playing. Or was it even earlier than that? Well, I found out that my favorite Famous guitarist, John McLaughlin, makes his own guitar picks, and has for some time. So I started making my own. This led to a lot of stuff, and like I said before, we'll be talking about picks later. There's nothing I hate more than YouTube guys that sit there and tell you all about what they're going to be talking about. But I'm going to be talking about... <laughs> uh, um building guitars, disrupting guitars as I call it, which consists of taking a cheap guitar and making it as, as good as any guitar. Well, uh, let's see, what else? This is my number one, and if you get through this, 
the rest of them should be easier. And remember, keep this under your hat. I don't want anyone out there spilling the beans.